welcome back everyone. So, so uh, now we're going to go through uh, the setup with a demo. So uh, we we'll go through one after the other. So we've gone through how to download. What you just need to do is to go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. Uh, I propose that we use uh, community because it's free. So community online is free. You down, you click on that, and that should download the exe file for you. And you click on it. When you click on it, it starts to do that. So I will click on no because I don't want to do the installation. So you continue from there. So this is what you would have. So you have that. So um, yeah. So you do that installation on and on. You click on uh, .NET desktop. And you confirm that you have this particular individual component. Is by default you should have them. So you click on install, and you restart your system, and that's it. So for Mac, also you go through the step, the same step. Boy, you do that. And you have your Visual Studio um, installed. So I'm going to start from here right now. Visual Studio. So this is what, even by VI, well, I think it's okay. You can. So that is Visual Studio coming up. So then I've got different options to open previous uh, recent projects. So you can open previous recent projects that you have, and that's fine. Or you can create a new one directly from here or it starts without any code. So right now, we're going to start without any code so that we see how it looks like so we don't use this. So let's, you can as well create your new project because we need to do that going without any uh, visual studio. I'm going to put in a full screen. So now quickly going to talk through what you have. So you have your menu. So basically, this is what you're new for opening a new project, for opening, for creating a new project rather, for opening the previous project that you have, start windows, recent files, your recent project, and those are the important ones. So if you want to search in your files or you want to replace, so then view, and if you want to view sometimes your solution explorer, that you have here could disappear. For you to bring it up, you need to go to View and click on Solution Explorer. The same thing with the Team Explorer, which is what I've got here. I'll, and the cost of this um, training, we'll be using them. We'll, be try, we'll try to make them disappear and bring them up again. So those are important for you. Then your Test Explorer is also here. So you got the Test Explorer here. And you can bring it up from there. I think the tax bar and your output, your error list, those are views that you would want to use. Then other windows that you would also need. Uh, I think there is package manager. Yeah, package manager console is another window that's of great importance to test us, I would look into that later. So then debug, you're going to be using this later. Then after that, you have your extension. We've used the extension. Okay, we're going to use the extension right now. And you have your Windows and you have your app. So basically, that's what. Then after that, I mentioned, I will Talk about this when we got the solution created now. So, yeah, I'll talk about this one. So that is, this is Visual Studio, basically. Visual Studio install. Then the next step from our step, yeah, is for us to integrate uh, Specflow extension with Visual Studio. 
To do that, you would, like I said, you only need to do this once for the installation. As you can see now, I will show you, I have already got it installed, so I don't need to do that for SpecFlow. If I search for SpecFlow, I've got, that is thick. So, but if I haven't done it, so this is what I'm going to see. So when I click on Manage Extension, I would search for SpecFlow, like, yeah. Also, also bear in mind, you need to go online. You need to go to online sessions, and also you need to be online also, our internet uh, access. So search for SpecFlow, and then you will see download. In my own case, because I've already downloaded and I've already integrated it, so you will see the tick, basically. Or if, if you haven't done it, you would see the download button. So then you can click on the download, and once it's finished, you see this particular alert that actually tells you that your changes is scheduled. So you should now uh, restart Visual Studio. So once you clo close Visual Studio, you would see this window. And don't end the tax, let it finish. Once it's finished, you can now close it. So then it would tell you that now you've got SpecFlow configured with your Visual Studio.